Developing at 5 o'clock, the eyes of the financial world are on Procter & Gamble tonight, especially retirees and others who own company stock. Shareholders are voting whether to put an activist investor on the board, a person who wants to make some changes to boost the stock price. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live right now with how this could impact the community overall. Tom? Well, that investor is Nelson Peltz. Will they get a seat on the 12-member board? Well, the company shareholders' annual meeting is tomorrow, and we may find out soon after that. He wants to basically streamline this company to increase the stock price, but company leaders say they already have a turnaround plan in place to do just that and that it's working. Brett Ramsey worked for P&G 12 years before leaving to start a catering business, Sidekick's Saucy Asian Grill. That's his total focus now, but he still follows the consumer products giant. I have to keep an eye on P&G because it still makes a pretty good chunk of my retirement plan. Ramsey plans to work another 15 to 20 years and knows it's imperative for the firm to increase in value. That is important because we want growth in the stock and whether it's short term or long term growth, uh, we need that growth. How to do that is the question for shareholders. On one side is P&G CEO David Taylor with a position outlined by Jim Russell, principal and portfolio manager for Ball & Gainer. Dave Taylor and the Proctor management would tell you that their plan is in place, it is working, there is noticeable improvement, it's just taking time to work. In fact, they would say that many of Nelson Peltz's ideas are already implemented or have already been tried and don't work. The P&G plan involved cutting jobs and shedding underperforming brands. But activist investor Nelson Peltz says things aren't moving fast enough. What Nelson Peltz would like to see is to, for Procter & Gamble to simplify the reporting structure from 10 business units down to three, eliminating some degree of bureaucracy, making the company a little bit more nimble and perhaps uh, fostering smaller brands and uh, hastening decision making within Procter & Gamble. As this plays out, Brett Ramsey watches from afar knowing part of his future is at stake. Ultimately, I'm going to trust the, uh, the voters and uh, trust P&G leadership and, and hope for the best, actually. Of course, all this is going to take time. Jim Russell describes it as the first inning of a nine-inning game. Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown.